So after 31 days, I'm excited to check in and share my channel's progress because we've reached 300 subscribers. And though it snowed last night, now it's sunny. A little bit windy, so I hope my voice comes through okay. And I'm here to make this video for you. Now if you haven't met, I'm Janos. And on this channel, I share simple editing tips and document my learning journey in real time. I may be just a few months ahead on this YouTube adventure, but I hope you can find inspiration from my experiences and apply it to your own channel. Because I started this YouTube channel one year ago, I believe now is the perfect time to start even if it means approaching 40 or even better if you're over 40. So if you feel like you're late to the party, trust me, you're not. Today, creators are moving away from highly produced, heavily edited videos and towards more casual vloggy style content with minimal editing. And this trend has been growing since the start of this year. And if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or reviving a dormant one, now is the perfect time to start. Just pick up your phone and share your message. And while it might seem like everyone around you is doing similar things, that's actually an illusion. Because we often assume that everyone is at our level. But many people are actually on the beginning of their journey or just a few steps behind. And if you have fewer than 300 subscribers, I'll walk you through exactly how I reached this milestone, including the metrics that you can expect and the effort required. So if you're enjoying this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. I know that starting a YouTube channel feels daunting, but I'm here and I'm trying to make this journey easier for you. So let's grow together. Remember your authentic message, no matter how simple it is, can inspire others. And as I'll show you in the analytics shortly, my channel has grown consistently with each upload and every community interaction. Because the YouTube algorithm learns and evolves, helping creators reaching their audiences. My advice is simple and straightforward. Grab whatever equipment you have and start sharing your experiences. Because what might seem basic to you could be exactly what someone else needs to hear. Because everyone's situation is different. It's like watching a toddler taking their first steps while looking to an older child who's running. Those first few steps might seem small, but when you're at that early stage, running feels like a distant goal. So since my last check-in, I've created three long-form videos. The first is a CapCut tutorial about removing backgrounds on PC, similar to the video I did in August, but it's shorter. And I made this video to test the same content in different formats. The August version was just over 4 minutes and received over 800 views, while the October version was shorter and got about 200 views. So this experiment explores whatever longer or shorter videos perform better on YouTube. And for now, the results suggest that YouTube favors longer content. And I think this could be because longer videos generate more watch time and outperform other videos ranking on the same topic. I will analyze both videos again in a couple of months to see how they progress, especially since they have nearly identical titles and thumbnails. The second video is straightforward. It explains how to download CapCut on your laptop covering both Windows and Mac. The third video came from studying successful YouTube creators who focus on channel growth. So these creators shared insights about writing engaging scripts that keep viewers watching longer. I also cover four secrets that established channels use to hook their viewers and maintain their attention throughout the video. So if you're interested in this topic or the other two videos I mentioned, you'll find them in the description below. And looking ahead, I plan to release two more videos, some CapCut tutorials and another video about YouTube growth strategies. Regarding tools, I'm still using vidIQ for researching YouTube video ideas and keyword opportunities. And vidIQ recently launched a new thumbnail generator tool and I plan to make a video about it soon since it's such an awesome feature. But if you don't want to wait for that video to come out, but you want to check out vidIQ's thumbnail generator now, I'll leave you a link in the description below. And now let's go to the backend of my YouTube channel and see what are the analytics since the last time. So here are my channel's results. And you can see that the three uploaded videos generated over 2600 views. And when I scroll down, you can see how the top content performed during this period. So the most views came from videos I made back in the summer and they're still driving views today. This shows to me that the YouTube algorithm takes time to show your videos and to find your audience. And I think this proves that videos you make today might start performing better months after uploading. So don't get discouraged if your videos 
have low views in the first days or months. Going back, the watch time for this period is almost 49 hours and I welcome all the 34 total new subscribers. And because this is only a high level view, to understand better what happened, we need to dive deeper into the analytics. And YouTube makes this easy because what we need to do is to click on the see more button. So when it opens up, you will see the default view. But since I'm tracking specific metrics for my channel, let me show you my tracking spreadsheet. And now we can compare the result with the previous periods. So we are on episode 9 and the period we're looking is from the 22nd of October to the 22nd of November. A total of 31 days. So with these three long form uploaded videos and without any shorts this time, the channel received over 45,000 impressions and the average view duration is improving and I hope it continues to rise. Whereas for click through rate is 3.4, slightly lower but still higher than my channel usually gets. I think this might be because I'm running tests with different thumbnail styles on some of my videos. Regarding subscribers, the channel gained 48 new subscribers and lost 14, sitting at 305 subscribers at the time of recording this video. So it averaged 1.1 new subscribers per day over these 31 days, which I think for this channel size is awesome. So the total views were almost 2600, which might seem lower than before. However, remember that I have uploaded only three long form videos this time. Compared to the previous period where I have uploaded 30 shorts in 30 days within my 30 days challenge. So YouTube is typically giving more impressions and views to short form content compared to the long form videos. So the actual watch time was 48.6 hour, which averages around 1.57 hours per day. So now you can see how the metrics have evolved since the last time. And if you have a channel of a similar size, you can compare these results with your own. And while I believe these numbers can still improve, I'm grateful for every new subscriber joining my channel. Because even though the growth might seem modest, the channel is steadily growing and I'm learning valuable lessons by testing different formats and approaches. So if you found value in this video and want to follow my channel's evolution, please subscribe to see how these metrics develop in the next update. And for those of you on a similar journey who are uploading regularly and seeing comparable results, I love to hear about your challenges and learnings in October, so leave them in the comments below. So that's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Ciao!